Hey there, welcome to another episode of Football Everyday coming to you live and direct from the studios here at Manara Star in PJ. My name is Nelson. Joining me today, Ben Martin and Ben Ibrahim, who we missed dearly last week. Right. <laughs> Guys, getting to the weekend's results, I mean, another two goals from Robin Van Persie uh, gave Arsenal a 2-1 win at Norwich City. Brian, I mean, credit to the Canaries. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they took the fight to Arsenal, took the lead, you know, but isn't this the kind of character you need to show to maintain a serious title challenge? Right? I mean, coming back from two goals away from home. Uh, I don't think uh, a title challenge is necessarily where Arsenal is right. at this point in time. But I think they're only dependent on Robin Van Persie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, they're virtually a one-man team. Uh, take away Persie's goals, Van Persie's goals right. for the last five, six games. Right. And Arsenal will be actually very close to relegation battle. Right. Uh -huh. I mean, Ben, do you agree, Brian? Quick one on Arsenal. Yes and no. Arsenal need to fix their defending. They need to be more consistent in their defending. Norwich only had about four right. shots at goal, and mm -hmm. they took one of them. Yeah. So one out of four, so they got right. the goal. Right. And if you see that goal, it was a pretty ordinary goal. Right. Defending was all over the place. So they've got to fix that. If they're going to be real title challengers to what you said, mm -hmm. they've got to fix a good defence. If you look at the Manchester United teams that won in 2008, right. 2009, not only did they have a solid midfield, mm -hmm. but a strong back four. Right. So they need to emulate that. Right. Okay, you're over at the city of Manchester Stadium, um, Newcastle's unbeaten run uh, finally came to an end, you know, as they went down by three goals to one. And uh, look, Brian, most people expected this outcome, right? I mean, the unbeaten league run would have come to an end at City, that's what most of us were expecting. So, yeah. what do you make of City's performance? On the um, I actually thought that Newcastle were a tad unlucky. Um, they had a, quite a number of chances, mm -hmm. right? And if they had taken a couple of those chances, right. in fact, they hit the post a couple of times, uh, City would have story, actually right? might have been a different story, but you know, like you said, City were expected to win. Uh, I think there'll be tougher challenges ahead for City. Right, Ben, City. Professional performance, right. nothing amazing. Mm -hmm. Like Brian said, Newcastle could have got the lead. Ben Arfa hit the post, right. Right. Yeah. and it was good to see Ben Arfa back right. in the game. He's right. a great player, great talent, young guy, French guy. So yeah. great to see right. guys like that in this back in the system after a broken right. leg last year, I mean, which he broke. Right. Against Man City last right. year. I mean, um, speaking of Ben Arfa, I mean, Brian, what a Mauro Balotelli. I mean, you, you think he's finally becoming the, you know, finally showing his true potential at last, perhaps? You know, Mario Balotelli is uh, is one of uh, one of the great young players that the EPL has. All right, mm -hmm. but whether he's finally delivering his the vast potential that he has, I think that's debatable. Right. Let's wait for the season to end and then actually make a decision and see make a wording on right. him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, but meanwhile, uh, Queen's Park Rangers 3, Stoke City 2. I mean, Ben, Tony Fernandez's team this season so far at least. I mean, look to be playing a bit better away from home. Yeah, right? the fairy tale continues. One thing I like about QPR, they've got some good British talent. Mm. Luke yeah. Young, Sean Wright Phillips, yeah. Joey Barton. These guys are not world-class talent, but they've got a track record of mm. being proven in the English Premier League. So they right. know the system. Right. Yeah. It's not like an Italian or a Spanish person coming over to the English Premier League. They know how it works. 4-4-2 attack. Right. They were lucky against Stoke. Right. Stoke are very similar to Arsenal. Bad defence. Right. They need to fix it. Because right. Stoke were probably yeah. very, very unlucky because they should have had a penalty. Right, but they're kind of a, a bit on the, I mean, on the downfall a bit. Yeah. I mean, the mm -hmm. downturn a bit, right? So, okay, but over at the Liberty Stadium, uh, defending champions, Man United, you know, eked out a narrow 1-0 win uh, over newly promoted Swansea City brand. I mean, thanks mm -hmm. to uh, an early Javier Hernandez strike. Uh, yeah. But, you know, tough as it was, still a good result for United, right? I mean, considering Stoke have ha didn't lose at home before that game. Yeah, right? a good result for United. Uh, done not the United way. Mm -hmm. no, the, <laughs> the United way is what you said, Ben, you know. Strong defence, creative midfield, uh, potent attacking force, exactly. which is none of it is uh, evident mm -hmm. in United of today. Yeah. So it's it's something that Alex Ferguson needs to fix, and he needs to fix it really quick for some right. big games coming up. Right. Yeah. Well, and at Stamford Bridge, uh, guys, we know Liverpool inflicted a second successive home defeat on Chelsea with a two-one win. You know, thanks to goals from uh, old Blues boy Glenn Johnson as <laughs> well as Maxi Rodriguez. I mean, Ben. Is Andre Villas Boas walking on the tightrope after that result, you think? Well, if you look at the track record of all Chelsea coaches, Abramovich, not very patient. Mm. But, like AVB said, he didn't pay $13 million to get rid of yep. me, even yeah. before the halfway point. Sure, right. And Roman, yes, he's a rich man, but mm -hmm. he's also a numbers man. Mm. Right. So he's going to be a little bit more patient. He's going to give him about five more games. Let's see how they go in the Champions League, because if they lose the Premier League, but right. they win the Champions League, they'll keep this fella. Yep. So right. early days yet, right. yeah. but he's walking right. on a tightrope. He better deliver results and results soon because right. Roman said to him, deliver attacking football. And he even said after the game against QPR, no, 
I'm going to go 4-3-3, attack it, and right. if our defense leaks, our defense leaks. As yeah. long as you win, and win in style. Yeah. Right. You've got to give what the boss wants. Right. I mean, but Brian, I mean, for Chelsea, um, a Chelsea side who we know over the past two seasons, yeah. uh, won't lose two games, two home games in yeah. a row, you know yeah. I mean? So, and they were lacking in pace, they were all over, I mean, compared to Liverpool, right? Yeah, and you know, the good thing for, the, for AVB is he's got Wolves at home, yeah. you know? <laughs> I doubt yeah. it's going to be three in a row. Uh, right? yeah. yeah, but uh, the bad thing for Chelsea, if I were a Chelsea fan, I would be looking at an aging team, mm -hmm. you know. You Good have point. people like Drogba, Anelka, Lampard, Terry. Yeah. Those are aging players. Where's the young talent that's coming in yep. through the ranks? Yep. I don't see any, any good young talent. John Obi Mikel is young, right? But you don't rate him. Nah, he's, he's too, hopeless. Yeah. Yeah. He is absolutely hopeless. He had a horrible game that night. And the substitution worked. Daniel Sturridge. Yeah. You should play right. more of him. Yeah. He's a great talent. Yeah. Young. So lucky for United, we didn't sign Mikel back then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on to your Plus thoughts. In disguise, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it is time for our first break here on Football Every Day. We'll be right back to catch up on the, the weekend's eye-catching matches. Alright, so do stay tuned and we'll see you in a bit. Welcome back to Football Every Day here in the second and final segment of today's show. Okay, on Saturday, um, free-falling Chelsea. Uh, welcome Mick McCarthy's struggling Wolves to Stamford Bridge. I mean, Brian, as we said earlier, having lost two games in a row, two home league games in a row, I doubt this is going to be a third right against yeah. Wolves. No disrespect, but it is Wolves, right? If I were AVB, I would do this. Listen, tell your fullbacks, tell Ivanovic, mm -hmm. tell Ashley Cole, and especially tell Luis, David Luis, right. don't go past the halfway line. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the basics, let the midfield and attack take care of themselves. Right. I think that's that's the back to basics formula that he that he needs to do. I mean, because you're right, because I mean, they've got Mata, you know, Maluda, and, yeah. and people are capable yeah. enough of. They've got uh, some great attacking talent, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ben. Yeah, Ashley Cole. Chelsea, right? Yeah, Ashley Cole, David Luiz. I agree with Brian. Sometimes they think they're very attacking players. Don't forget, David right. Luiz is a very skillful yeah. defender. Um, I remember yeah. the goal he scored against Manchester United yep, last right. season. Yeah. That was a great goal. Yeah. Well taken, good hit, good connection, good technique. But and the problem is he's not a defender. He's not a yeah. defender. He thinks <laughs> he's a holding midfielder. Right, right. Right. No, he's got to stick to the basics of defending. Look, a lot of these teams, Stoke, mm -hmm. Arsenal, they're in the same boat. Stick to the basic principles. Have a sweeper, right. do your job and win the game. All right, okay. In the meantime, uh, Newcastle faced a second Manchester team in succession. I mean, though, this time it's in the form of United at Old Trafford. Uh, Brian, I know you're itching to speak on this one, you know. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, what are you expecting? I mean, can the Magpies bounce back or will it be United for the win? I mean, uh, it should be United for the win. It's, right? it's going to be a tough one. I mean, the way United's form has been in the mm. last few games, and last night they drew uh, two defensive mistakes against right. Benfica. Right. Uh, like I said earlier, Ferguson needs to sort out the defence. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, needs to start out the midfield, needs to start out the attack. Right. So, it's not going to be an easy game for United. You know, a draw mm -hmm. may be uh, the most likely result. Right. I mean, but Ben, United tend, tend to do well against Newcastle. They tend to. They've got the track record, right. they've got the history. But adding to that, I saw that game right. when United played on Saturday night against Swansea and their passing they were struggling, right? they were was right. second class. Yeah. Right. It was not the United that we that saw we at the start that, yeah. of the season. Very right. Barcelona. Right. I think at the start of the season, Ferguson said, I'm going to match Barcelona. Yeah. If I'm going to beat them, I've got to match them. Right. And we right. saw that for about four or five games. Right. Yeah. Right. But then the okay. wheels came off, players right. get injured, Evra, mm. Jones got yeah. injured, Cleverly. Smalling, yeah. Cleverly. Yeah, Cleverly yeah. is the key factor. So, passing is a problem. So... Wesley Schneider might not be a bad recruit in general. In general, well, I hope right? you're right. Yeah. Um, Brent, speaking of United's passing and stuff, mm. Rooney seems to be reveling in his new midfield role. I mean, what do you yeah. make of that? I mean, can he shine against? Newcastle? Well, he 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 had a knock against Swansea, so he arrested mm. him against Benfica. For United and for Ferguson's sake, I hope he plays right. against New Newcastle because he's going to be key. Uh, my feeling is that Ferguson will deploy him in front of the midfield like he's right. done in the last few games. And he might play Berbatov and what? He Derby may Thor, right? go with Berbatov because Berbatov, like Ben said, is coming back into form. Right. Mm. Okay, so we'll see what happens in that one. Uh, meanwhile, in form, Arsenal are at home to an inconsistent Fulham. I mean, Ben, as we said, you know, RVP's form is the key, you know, but Fulham on their day actually are no pushovers. No, no, Fulham have got a great side. Damien Duff, mm -hmm. you know, he's been there, done that. He's won a few championships. Bobby Zamora. Bobby Zamora, yep. yeah. So these guys know how right. to upset champions. So 
I think this will be a tough one. I, I, I hope think they this do is a tough Arsenal, one, right? Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget, Robin van Persie, RVP. Mm -hmm. He's typically Dutch, injury prone. Right. So yeah. give him a hamstring injury. He's out for five, six weeks, and then what? <laughs> then yeah. they can fall apart, right? Yeah. Even before February. Yes, yes. We're not okay. even at the halfway point yet. Right. Yeah. All right, and the big one this weekend, uh, sees Liverpool play host to leaders Manchester City. Brent, the Reds tend to turn it on against the big teams. You know, they did mm -hmm. that against Chelsea. Yeah. But but they might have what it takes to inflict a first defeat on City, but their home form has been of concern yeah. this season, right? And I mean, um, you can't beat, what, Swansea at home, if I'm not mistaken. It's yep, yeah. One more when City come a-calling, right? Yeah, but um, I, I don't know. Kenny Dagley seemed to have got the tactics right against Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Can he do it two games in a row? Yeah, it's possible, you know, because I was very impressed with Liverpool right. against Chelsea. Uh, without Steven Gerrard, uh, yep. you have people like uh, Charlie Adams playing out of his skin. Yeah. And uh, you know what, not, not many of us expected him to start with Bellamy and, and Maxi. And, yes. Right? Yeah. Ben? I mean, yeah, well, Maxi is pushing to push Stuart Downing out of his position. Yeah, right. right. So Maxi had a great game. And if you can find skillful players who can neutralize man right. for man yeah. against City, I mean, City's got a lot of class and talent. Yeah. You know, right. you've got to neutralize David Silva. Yep. If you can do that, you stop them. Him or Sami Nasri. Yeah. If you can neutralize these two, then you've got a chance. And, and, right. and also, Ben, I think he needs to start with Suarez and Bellamy up front, like he did against yes. Chelsea. Right. Keep Carroll on the bench. We need two speedy strikers to take on that City defence. No, send Carroll to rehab. Right. <laughs> <laughs> send Carroll to rehab. Drinking too much, I guess. Yeah, Brandon, let me put your neck on the line. I mean, what's it going to be? Liverpool win? 2 all. 2 all, Ben? City first defeat, no? 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. <laughs> so High scoring game. <laughs> So no one's picking City to lose then. Well, yeah. I hope City I lose. hope City lose. Yeah. Seriously, to be objective, because I want them to be humble, because they're getting a little bit yeah. arrogant at the moment and think they're going to walk away. Like there was an article in the Star the other day that said, oh, we're going to go All during way. the season undefeated. Right. Yeah. Says he Emulate the, the Arsenal well, Invincibles. Right? But yeah. that's early days yet. Come on, yeah. you haven't right. done anything yet. Yeah. Right. You know, Back it up. Right. Wait. Right. Do your time first. So yeah. I hope they get humble very, very well. And they were humble this morning, apparently, yeah. by Napoli. Uh -huh. Napoli beat them 2-1. Mm, Two one, is it? Oh, Two one. Alright, great stuff guys. But uh thanks a lot for your thoughts as usual. But if you want to find out more about what they've got to say, check out our columnists in our This is Football, This is War section over the weekend. And before we bid you goodbye, do remember we've also launched a brand new contest on football at the star.com, football.thestar.com.my. You know, all you've got to do is take a picture, upload it, get your friends to vote, and you can take home prizes from Tiger FC, Adidas, Thank You, on top of FA Cup final tickets, all right? If you'd like to drop us a line, send us an email to football at the star.com.my. See you next week. Guys, pleasure it's been as usual. Thanks, Thanks for being so. here. Enjoy your football. We'll see you real soon.